Corpse Party is a strange horror franchise. Many look to its first entry and see something that resembles an RPG Maker game. And well, that's because it was. The games had a lot of changes since. It was remade on PC and enhanced several times on handhelds and consoles, adding CG artwork, animations, and new chapters of story content along the way. Now we've got a new version for PS4 and Nintendo Switch with even more content. So let's find out how that original game fares. Here is my review of Corpse Party Blood Covered Repeated Fear for the Nintendo Switch. Before we really get started, let's clarify something. At the time of this video, Corpse Party has only released on the Switch in Japan. We have no word on when or if it will be released in the West. However, the Japanese version has full English support, so a quick Japanese account creation, along with buying some Japan eShop cards from PlayAsia, can easily net you this game with no language barrier. Now diving right in, this is the story of the first Corpse Party game and revolves around a group of students at a Japanese high school. After a school festival, the group of friends decide to do an urban legend ritual said to bind their friendship forever. But instead of doing that, tragedy befalls them when they're separated and transported to Heavenly Host Elementary, a hellish school filled with ghosts and dead bodies as far as the eye can see. What makes Corpse Party such a good horror game is the story structure once the group is in Heavenly Host and try to escape. It uses dark and psychological tones to showcase how poorly these characters are prepared for this nightmare, not to mention how poorly players are prepared for the twists and shocks the narrative sends our way. Despite being a veteran player and knowing what gruesome deaths the game has within it, I still found myself gasping and crying when the most memorable cast members meet a grim end, be it in the canonical endings or alternative ones. This version of Corpse Party also has some new story chapters that have a kinda sorta connection to Corpse Party 2. I won't give away any spoilers, but there is definitely a tease on what is coming next to the franchise. Before we go to gameplay, there was an issue I have with the story aspect, and it's likely due to this being the Japanese version. The story script is pretty pristine all the way down to the butt cream scene with Seiko, but all of the item descriptions are filled with words that aren't spaced apart. While I did find one sentence in the story script that had this issue as well, it's painfully apparent when you get new items. When it comes to gameplay, Corpse Party is a 2D survival horror game. Across its various chapters, you'll be exploring a 2D school and solving light puzzles as you try to escape. Now as far as this new version, the Switch and PS4 versions of Blood Covered are enhanced from the Nintendo 3DS version. It includes all of the visual and CG additions the PSP version had, the 14 extra chapters from the 3DS, and two new extra chapters that are unique to this release. We also have some UI bits that can be toggled. By default, the playtime counter and button info is all over the gameplay screen but a quick trip into configuration can make these go away. That's enough on the enhancements and changes. When you dive into Corpse Party, you choose a chapter and explore Heavenly Host. This is done in fairly standard survival horror fashion. While most of these types of games don't look like 2D RPGs, you navigate around the school with limited path access and have to find and use items to unlock doors. The game has a lot of puzzles like this as well as segments where you have to avoid malicious ghosts. Thankfully, these puzzles are pretty easy to figure out once you do a few of them. Even the two character puzzles are explained to you in dialogue once you explore the room enough. This is also tied to the exploration side. In this game, you want to explore as much as you can. Every corpse you find has a name tag on it allowing you to find out who else died in the school and how. You also need to read some files and get certain items to be able to achieve that chapter's correct ending. And that is really the beauty of this original game. Every chapter has a good or true ending, and at least a few bad ones. These alternates normally result in the characters getting brutally killed and show how a small variance in the experience can change their fate. This formula works surprisingly well, though moving around the school can get a bit repetitive. While each variant of the school you visit does have changes and new things to find, 
The four directional movement can be a bit limiting, especially during chase sequences. And with that, let's go into content and length. The main story of Corpse Party can easily last you a good 6 to 10 hours, as it did for me despite knowing most of what I had to do. And adding in those extra 16 chapters can easily double that playtime. Next, let's move on to presentation. Visually, the game doesn't look all that different from previous releases. The sprite work is pretty much the same as it was on the PSP and 3DS, which looks okay as it is, though the CG art and story renders look quite nice. My main complaint with presentation is the crop and aspect ratio. The game's main area is cropped in the middle of the screen with a backdrop and UI bits around it. To be honest, it looks like they took everything from both 3DS screens and tried to cram it all into one. Now don't get me wrong, the crop definitely has benefits like having the story scene models for characters a bit off screen in that backdrop area, but it would be nice to be able to see that aspect ratio especially since the UI is a bit confusing. Those items on the side, some people who watched my initial stream of this game thought, oh, you can probably use the touchscreen to tap those items and use them in front of doors. But alas, the touchscreen does absolutely nothing in this game. They're just there so you can look at them. And not to nitpick anymore, but there is a little bit of an audio glitch in the game as well. There is a loud beeping noise that occurs fairly often once you hit chapter 3. This was actually in the other versions of Corpse Party, but not as often and nowhere near as loud. I did a few tests around this feature as it happens in the same place every time, and it is technically a sound effect. You can disable it, but only if you disable all sound effects. Moving on to performance, I have no complaints. It runs nice and smooth and never gave me problems. So with that out of the way, let's go into battery life. On the original model, Corpse Party has a battery range of 3 hours and 6 minutes up to 4 hours and 58 minutes. On the Nintendo Switch Lite, it has a range of 3 hours and 10 minutes up to 5 hours and 11 minutes. And on the Redboxer V2 2019 model, it has a range of 6 hours and 31 minutes up to 8 hours and 40 minutes. In conclusion, Corpse Party's initial entry finally makes it to the Switch in pretty decent form. Now on the downside, the crop is a bit annoying and the spacing and audio beeping issues are pretty large irritations. But if you're willing to turn down sound effects and configuration, Corpse Party is an incredible horror game for those interested in shocking story twists and paranormal lore. Reviews to Go rates Corpse Party for the Nintendo Switch a 7.5 out of 10. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them below. Thank you for watching and have a great day.